My name is Kristen Moger and I am a fine artist. Um, I consider myself a fine artist. Other people might think of my work more like illustrations or um, graphics, but um, I approach my work as a fine artist. I live in Pennsylvania, um, originally from Connecticut, and I have been um, a professional artist for over 30 years. I went to art school at the University of Hartford in Connecticut at the Hartford Art School and studied painting and um, art education and taught art at mostly the high school level for several years on and off. I have worked in all sorts of media over my 30 years in, in art. I was trained as um, a painter and as an art educator, but as many creatives find themselves they like to dabble in all sorts of different things and so my journey has been through a lot of different things um, and I started out as a painter and then it slowly evolved into three-dimensional painting and it had a lot of design and color and, um, and I have a lot of color in my background training but um, it evolved from there I my body started reacting and I needed to lay my work down for a while and to try to figure out what was going on with my body and while I did that and healed I when I finally felt like I could go back to doing my art I really wanted to go back to my first love of drawing and to see what that would do and this work that I'm doing now is a lot to me a lot like my three-dimensional painting where it's combining a lot of unusual things put together in a way that is unexpected that I love realistic I love realism but I have this quirky sense of humor that that I like to put into my work and so I combine my realism and my love for animals and my love for biology and mix in these weird patterns that I find from from nature from illustrations in really old books from the Middle Ages from illuminated manuscripts that I loved growing up and and combine those in a funny way to create the form and give it life and give it mood and, and personality that you wouldn't normally find in a realistic drawing. Right now I'm showing in a lot of juried art shows in, in within about six to seven hours from here, but um, I also have been investigating talking to both zoos and and marine aquarium. I've been looking at what they have to offer and what they tend to do. I've, I had some uh, relationship with a uh, zoo in, in Indianapolis and would love to try to find some more of those out here because I think that the people who love those places would love my work. I do talk to a lot of young artists and and they ask me about where where should they start and what should they do and my my two biggest things is learn everything you can keep your keep your brain open even if you feel like you want to want your art to go in a certain direction you need to accumulate tools in your in your tool in your tool uh, bag because the more you learn from other people and from um, history and the way people approach things, the more tools you have in order to build your own style. And then do what you love and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep it out there. And, and get feedback from people, but continue to do what you love because if you love it, then it will naturally develop. And, um, and it won't get frustrating. Art, being a professional artist is hard. It's, um, it's not always lucrative.